This book is a registry. It's at the Ashland Outdoor Store. Many of the through hikers take it on the Pacific Crest Trail head into the store to stock up on supplies and can sign the book, draw, or leave notes for others. Hikers like John Booth say it's always a relief to see familiar names on the pages. If they're hiking behind me, I'm never sure if they're still on trail um, because a lot of people do get injured and have to get off the trail. So I was very happy to see that they, you know, had made it this far in. Booth is from the Boston, Massachusetts area and his trail name was Recon. It took him five months and eight days to hike the full length of the trail. You really get to meet a wonderful cross-section of humanity by hiking the, the, the PCT. It's incredible. Booth built friendships and lasting memories along the way. Words left behind gave him an extra push. It's always optional to sign it, of course, but it's always fun to see who came, you know, who came through. And you can just sign your name and the date, or some people like leave a note of encouragement for the people after them. Uh, you know, keep up the the good hike, and there's a big uphill coming up, or something. You know, the store's registry is its first one and has been used since 2006. It only has a few pages left and will retire, opening the door for a new one with new names. Rick Saylor lived in Ashland through high school. Grease was his trail name. He finished the trail in September of 2013. I ended up hiking with uh, this strong and silent cowboy for about two months after this. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of great friends in here and a lot of great memories. Saylor says flipping through the pages, seeing the names of old friends will bring back good memories and inspire him to start planning his next trip. You can kind of get back into real life and try to push those things aside and try to do you know, live a normal life, but once you start reading this, you're just, you're back in it and you try to figure out how to do it again. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10. Um, okay, so Lorac, all the trail names are super fun.